And before we start the game review, it would be really awesome if you ladies and gents out there could click the like button. And also arcade tap the subscribe button. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to click that notification bell. Keep you updated on new awesome videos to come with yours truly. And now, let's start the game review. Good morning, my sexy maggots. It's Cindy here, and welcome for today's game review. And today we are going to review and play Boogie Wings. Boogie Wings, better known in Japan as the Great Ragtime Show, is a horizontally scrolling shooter released in arcades by Data East in 1992. Was developed by Naomi Sousa, Boogie Wings were derived from the gameplay in Roga, Armor Force, which the similarities are the same. Personally, I think Naomi and the team did a great job with the idea for Boogie Wings. Well, because just the wacky idea alone is very original. Thus, I think we're going to see a really fun game here, ladies and gents. Are you guys excited? I'm sure as hell am. The Great Ragtime Show. So, in Boogie Wings, you play with a fighter pilot. Seems the game takes place very early 90s. My guess, I'd like to say, between 1910s or 1920s. So pretty much, we're looking at World War I time period, and right off the jump, Boogie Wings is wacky, insane, and loaded with all types of weird shit, and I love it. The controls are pure genius. The feel of the analog stick and how it rotates is just right when flying, when driving, and when you're on foot. This game thus far, ladies and gents, is really enjoyable. Oh fuck! I really tried to get that tank. Oh well. Oh my freaking god. Dude. Okay, I guess I'll stay my ass. Put right here and... Yes! Stage clear. Okay now, we have options on where to go next. And the areas looks interesting on the thumbnails. Of course, you guys know me, I'm going to pick top to bottom, so... Pony Island it is. This area looks jolly, like it full of fun and mayhem for me to destroy this place. Now noted, ladies and gents, in Boogie Wings they are plain hook something, drop it off, like an unwanted care package. What the fuck is that? Well, this was a huge change of events. Boogie Wings never ceased to amaze me, dude. Get back, you undead bastard. Those ghosts swarming in all places. Is he dead? Is he dead? Yes, I think we got him. Yes, this stage is clear. Okay, next area, the transporter. Another thing I noticed, our pilot, dude, he must be in really good shape because this guy runs really damn fast on foot. And, oh no, why stop there? This guy, ladies and gents, can lift things 20 times his weight. Here, have some money, bitches. Money, first most powerful weapon in the game. Money. All I really wanna see is the money. I don't really need a D, I need the money. All a bad bitch need is the money. Whoa. I got okay, this stage is clear. What's next? Ah, the Imperial Science Museum. Okay, how in the royal fuck are you even able to lift that at this point? I shouldn't even worry about the logic to Boogie Wings. Well, anywho, this stage was smooth sailing and we finished the area. Our next area is Merry Merry Christmas. Okay. Well, when I think of Christmas, I think of Bruce Willis in Die Hard. Ah! Or when I hear the song Joy to the World, I think about Friday after next. Heaven and us fuck that all that shit. Well, now that's interesting. Are all these barrels for little old me? How thoughtful. Thoughtful indeed. Jack asses. Now you see now. You done fucked up, you know that, don't you? 
Holy shit, that was epic. I'm loving the Blues Brothers vibe going on here. Hey, it's Santa. Holy balls. Santa, what demons possessed you? What the f man? So now I fight the demon Santa and blast his jiggle bells right off. Looks like you were the naughty one this year, Santa. And if you like the content, ladies and gents, be sure to arcade tap the subscribe button as well. Our last area, wow, really? Really, Detroit Rock City? Dude, this game truly delivers. My dad got me into Kiss when I was just a little razor heart dude. I see they remixed Kiss's Detroit Rock City song just a bit, but it's not bad. Damn plane can take massive damage. Go down, will ya? Jeez, and now this damn tank. Uh, just go already. Good. Okay, final stage. The stage was a bit unfair, I don't know. I just think the area object collisions should give you more time to blow them up, so I died a lot. But I was able to... Fuck! Come on now! Okay, we're at the boss, and he gives a choice to see reason. I said, fuck that, and press no. So now we have this long-ass boss fight that goes on for too damn long. So I'll die waste credits so I could drop spike bombs on the ship. How do you like that, fucker? So we finally stopped the bad guys, and that was Boogie Wings. So my review for Boogie Wings. Boogie Wings was, in fact, a wacky and fun game. This game offered nothing else more but pure fun. Ladies and gents, this deserve to have a look at and to enjoy. Data East has another fun game to the masses, and for that, Boogie Wings gets an 8.5 Razor Hearts out of 10. What's more to say? The developers did what the game was intended to do, and that was for it to be fun. Thank you so much. Ladies and gents, for watching and enjoying the review, I sure as hell did. And before I forget, don't forget to become a retro member on our Patreon. Help support the channel to grow, and with your love and support, Mr. Airy can continue to make more game reviews and work on his huge project. And as always, thank you for watching the review, and don't forget, stay retro, my sexy little maggots.